This is Martin Carlisle with Buffer Overflow 1 from Pico CTF 2018. Okay, now you're cooking. This time, can you overflow the buffer and return to the flag function? You can find it in this directory on the shell server. I've downloaded the source code. Let's take a look at that. So here we are in main. We're going to ask for a string and enter vuln. Here's our vulnerability. So we have this get s. And it's going to read into this buffer without checking the size. Then it's going to say time to return, fingers crossed, and it's actually going to print out the return address. So what we want to do is we want to write past the end of this buffer. That buffer is 32 characters long, so we'll send more than 32 characters, and then we'll see how we've affected the return address. Okay, so here we are. There's my program. I don't have permissions for flag.txt. So I'm going to run this vuln program. All right, so if I just type in four A's, it's going to return to its normal place. Nothing happened. So in order to generate the string, I'm going to use Python. So I'm going to say Python, and then I'm going to print. Well, let's just do some of the alphabet here. All right, so that wasn't enough characters. I know I needed at least 32, so let's try doing that twice. Still not enough. Three times. All right, so now we have, in fact, overflowed. We're getting this 76F6E6D. So let's look and see what that might be. I'll look here in my ASCII table. 70 hex is P, so P-O-N-M. And one of the things that the hint told us is to worry about big endian versus little endian. And now in little endian, what that means is in a four byte value, you actually put the smallest byte first. So in some sense, you do the four bytes backwards. And big endian, you would put the biggest part of the number, the, the largest, most significant byte first. So that's why even though I had P as my last letter in that little endian reverse order, I actually see the P-O-N-M, 76F6E6D. So if I want my return address, we're going to need to figure out what I want that to be. And I want that to go to the win method. So to figure out where the win method is, I'm going to do an obj dump on the vuln program. So that would give me all the assembly. And I'm just going to look for win using grep. So that's going to tell me that win is at 080485CB. Okay, so let's try to put this all together. We know that this is P N O uh, P O N M. So we're going to replace that in the third one of these. So I'm going to do this twice. And now I'm going to just put in there A B C D E F G. H I J K L. Now the last four letters, I'm just going to replace those all with Q's. And you'll see these 51. So that's those four Q's, that's where the return address is. I said I wanted my return address to be CB850408. So I'm going to change my Python to do that. So in my little endian order, CB850408. 0408. So there's my number in little endian order, CB850408 from right here. And we'll give that a whirl. 80485CB. And here is my flag. Addresses are easy. So we'll copy that. And we're done. Oh, Dr. Zernon has a message for us. We'll definitely not fall for that move again.